A bomber aircraft is essentially designed to attack ground and naval targets using air-to-ground weaponry, such as free-fall bombs, torpedoes, and deploying air-launched cruise missiles. A heavy strategic bomber has long endurance and can carry a lot of payloads, so they can undertake long missions and attack multiple targets. But heavy strategic bombers are expensive to build and operate, hence only a few countries currently deploy them. In this video, Defense Updates lists the top 7 heavy strategic bombers in the world. Let's get started. The Tupolev Tu-95, NATO reporting name BEAR, is a large, four-engine, turboprop-powered strategic bomber and missile platform. First flown in 1952, the Tu-95 entered service with the Soviet Union in 1956 and is expected to serve the Russian Aerospace Forces until at least 2040. The aircraft has four Kuznetsov NK-12 engines with contra-rotating propellers. It's the only propeller-powered strategic bomber still in operational use today. The Tu-95 is one of the loudest military aircraft, particularly because the tips of the propeller blades move faster than the speed of sound. The ongoing modernization of Russia's Tu-95MS bombers is aimed primarily at the aircraft armament, namely adaptation of the new KH-101 and 102 stealth cruise missile. The endeavor includes installation of four underwing pylons for up to eight KH-101 or 102 cruise missiles, as well as adjusting the aircraft's main weapons bay for cruise missiles of size the KH-101-102, which is 7.5 meters or 25 feet long. Besides this, the modernized Tu-95MS aircraft use radio radar equipment and target acquiring navigation system based on GLONASS. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It is a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Zhiyan H-6 is a license-built version of the Soviet Tupolev Tu-16 twin-engine jet bomber, built for China's People Liberation Army Air Force PLAAF. Delivery of the Tu-16 to China began in 1958, and the Zhiyan Aircraft Industry Corporation XAC, signed a license production agreement with the USSR to build the type in the late 1950s. The first Tu-16 or H-6, as it was designated in Chinese service, flew in 1959. Production was performed by the plant at Xi'an with at least 150 built into the 1990s. China has developed different variants of the aircraft and it is estimated to currently operate around 120 of these. The H-6 was used to drop nine nuclear devices at the Lop Nur test site. However, with the increased development in ballistic missile technology, the nuclear delivery capabilities that the H-6 offered diminished in importance. The CIA estimated in 1976 that the H-6 had moved over to a dual nuclear conventional bombing role. The latest version is the H-6N a heavily redesigned version capable of aerial refueling and carrying air-launched cruise missiles. The aircraft gives the PLAAF a long-range standoff offensive air capability with precision-guided munitions. Recently, the bomber was spotted in a video carrying what appears to be a possible hypersonic missile.
The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is an American, long-range, subsonic, jet-powered strategic bomber. It has been operated by the United States Air Force since the 1950s. Better performance at high subsonic speeds and relatively low operating costs have kept the B-52 in service despite the advent of more advanced aircraft, including the variable geometry B-1B Lancer and the stealthy B-2 Spirit. After being upgraded between 2013 and 2015, it is supposed to serve till the 2040s. The B-2 is capable of carrying both conventional as well as nuclear weapons. Apart from the ability to drop bombs, B-52 can carry land attack cruise missiles. Since the B-52 is large, slow and non-stealthy, it is thought to be vulnerable to modern air defense systems. Hence the focus has been to arm it with long-range standoff weapons instead of free-fall gravity bombs. A total of 194 B-52Gs and Hs were modified to carry AGM-86 land attack cruise missiles, carrying 12 missiles on underwing pylons, with 82 B-52Hs further modified to carry another 8 missiles on a rotary launcher fitted in the bomb bay for a total of 20 missiles. Tu-22M is a Cold War era designed aircraft. The aircraft was first flown on the 30th of August 1969 and was introduced in service in 1972. It is a supersonic and long-range bomber with a variable sweep wing design. Russia built about 497 Tu-22M bombers, but currently around 100 are in use. The bomber is now going through an extensive upgrade program and is designated as Tu-22M-3M. This will see several significant updates, including more efficient engines as well as the addition of an aerial refueling boom. Tu-22M-3M is able to carry many different types of weapons, including free-fall bombs, smart bombs, as well as cruise missiles. The two particularly significant weapons are the Kh-32 anti-ship missile and Kinzhal hypersonic missile. The ability to deploy the two types of standoff missiles makes the bomber a lethal platform. B-1 Lancer essentially has two variants. The B-1A was originally designed during the 1970s as a high-altitude Mach 2.0 capable nuclear bomber. The later variant, B-1B, was optimized for low-level penetration with a stealthier profile but no longer possessed Mach 2 capability, topping out at roughly Mach 1.25. This was done because it was thought that high-altitude flight over the Soviet Union would be a suicidal mission for a non-stealthy aircraft. The B-1B is powered by four General Electric F-101 GE-102 after burning turbofan engines, enabling it to haul a lot of weapons. It has eight external hardpoints for 50,000 pounds or 23,000 kilograms of ordnance and three internal bomb bays for 75,000 pounds or 34,000 kilograms of ordnance. Depending on mission, B-1B can carry a variety of ammunitions like Mark 84 general purpose bombs, CBU 87, 89, and CBU-97 cluster bomb units, GBU-38JDAM, AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile JASSM, to name a few. JASSM and JASSM-ER Extended Range are especially useful as they can be launched from standoff distances. Blackjack is the largest combat aircraft in the world, with a maximum takeoff weight of about 275 tons. The aircraft employs a fly-by-wire control system with a blended wing profile, and full-span slats are used on the leading edges with double-slotted flaps on the trailing edges. The Tu-168 is powered by four Kuznetsov NK-32 afterburning turbofan engines 
the most powerful ever fitted to a combat aircraft. The Tu-168 is a variable geometry wing aircraft, which wedges against the fuselage when switching to supersonic speed. It is capable of reaching Mach 2.0 speed at altitude. Apart from traditional bombs, the payload can include 12 Raduga KH-55SM cruise missiles or 24 AS-16 kickback short-range nuclear missiles. Russia's military announced the decision to resume production of modernized Tu-160, dubbed Tu-160M2, back in 2015. The modernized planes will see many upgrades, including improved engines, and will have digital hardware replacing old analog equipment. The serial production of the bombers is likely to begin in the early 2020s, with the Defense Ministry planning to purchase at least 50 aircraft. The BU Spirit was developed to take over the United States Air Force's vital penetration missions, able to travel deep into enemy territory to deploy their ordnance, which could include nuclear weapons. The B-2 is a flying wing aircraft, meaning it has no fuselage or tail. The blending of low observable technologies with high aerodynamic efficiency and large payload gives the B-2 significant advantages over previous bombers. Stealth capability provides greater freedom of action as the bomber can evade enemy air defenses. As of today, no country has an operational bomber like the B-2 Spirit. Currently, only Russia may have the radar technology to detect B-2, though the effectiveness in real-life scenarios is suspect. It has two internal bays for ordnance and payload with an official limit of 40,000 pounds or 18,000 kilograms and a maximum estimated limit of 50,000 pounds or 23,000 kilograms. Its payload enables it to carry not only a significant number of nuclear bombs, but also allows it to carry a huge cache of conventional ones. Each B-2 can carry 16 B-61 or B-83 nuclear bombs on the Rotary Launcher Assembly RLA. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.